does suck more. You're right. You're 100 percent right. But let's talk about jizz then. Let's not talk about racism tonight. So the first time I jizzed, first time, it was, a, it was a weird event because I was lucky enough to have got to play doctor with a bunch of kids that got molested by their uncles. So I was molested adjacent. So, <laughs> so it's about 1994. So I was able to learn to masturbate long before semen actually came out of me, which was a blessing. I jerked off everywhere. There wasn't a spot that I wasn't jerking off. So one night we're at the cabin, fully loaded, everybody's there, whole family. So I'm sleeping on the floor, main bedroom with my parents in the bed next to me. And I gotta take a shit, bad shit. So I get up, oh, I'm gonna pause right Doing comedy in here is like doing comedy in fucking Hogwarts. This is crazy. <laughs> so anyways, so I go to the bathroom to take this shit. And there's a lifetime commemorative issue of Princess Diana. Or maybe it's not, she, well she wasn't dead yet, but it was about her. So I'm, I'm looking at it for a while, like a while. So then I get up, I go lay back down on the shade carpet in the fucking bedroom. I'm sitting there for a while, I'm just, man, Princess Diana. <sighs> so I start getting at it, and I get at it good. I'm really going, really going, pitch black, dad snoring, mom's mumbling in her sleep, something racist. And then all of a sudden I'm coming, and oh my god, what is all over my fucking hands? And what is everywhere? It's all over me. I'm covered in semen. My parents are sleeping right next to me. I'm just rubbing it in the shade carpet. I'm rubbing it on myself. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Mo, this is your fault, buddy. This is all your fault. So they sold that cabin. It's gone, no. Grandparents are dead. So I don't know how much time I have. And I can't see any light. Where's that guy? Oh, skeet, skeet, skeet. Where are you? You got four minutes. Is. Four minutes. Okay, good. So, speaking of Hogwarts, do you think Nazi Germany was worried about like which which Hogwarts house they get sorted into before they perpetrated the Holocaust? You know what I mean? They're just sitting around like, I'm a fucking Hufflepuff. Let's get these fucking Jews out of here right now. I'm just kidding. But. Mo, on the Jewish topic. I love that Disney's buying up every property, right? So I know they own the Muppets already, and eventually they'll own Columbia, and then they'll have Schindler's List. And I'll finally get to see Jim Henson <laughs> presents Schindler's List. Kermit is Schindler. How many more could I have saved with this watch? How many more could I have saved with this car? You know? Bunsen's already dead, he got shot by Zac Efron, and Beaker's digging the hole to bury him. <laughs> fucking Waldorf and Statter are on the train to Auschwitz with fucking Michael Caine, and that's probably where the music number happens and they sing. <laughs> Cookie Monster's like, oh, I think we should just wait it out a little longer in the ghetto. <laughs> Elmo's the only red thing on the fucking cover. Dude, it would be fucking <laughs> lit, I promise you. <sighs> what else can I say? Racism. Well, let's get there. Minneapolis, you fucking disgusting. The police here kill black people like it grants fucking wishes. Like after the guy who was teaching them CPR leaves the room, a wizard comes in and goes, kill blackie three, and you will be granted a wish. <laughs> They're, it's so racist that I bet cops' wives leave a trail of dead black people in the bedroom to get them fucking randy, right? Oh my god. Hey, hey, I'm not being racist, right? I'm doing my part. There's a guy driving my fat sister's car right now running her credit score. I promise you. I promise. On that note, I love all of you. Good night. <laughs>